Blow the horn in Zion. Give a shout on my holy mountain. Let all of the people of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near a day of darkness and no light, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Like black smoke spread out upon the mountains, a great and powerful army comes, unlike any that has ever come before them or will come after them in centuries ahead. Yet even now, says God, return to me with all of your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with sorrow. Tear your hearts and not your clothing. Return to God, for God is merciful and compassionate, very patient, full of faithful love, and ready to forgive. What kind of fast do I choose? Is a true fast simply some religious exercise for making a person feel miserable and woeful? A day of self-affliction, of bending one's head like a reed or lying down in mourning clothes and ashes? Is this what you call a fast? A day acceptable to God? No, what I want in a fast is this, to liberate those tied down and held back by injustice, to lighten the load of those heavily burdened, to free the oppressed and shatter every type of oppression. A fast for me involves sharing your food with people who have none, giving those who are homeless a space in your home, giving clothes to those who need them and not neglecting your own family. Then, then your light will break out like the warm, golden rays of the rising sun, and in an instant you will be healed. If you make sure that the hungry and the oppressed have all that they need, then your light will shine in the darkness, and even your bleakest moments will be as bright as a clear day.